The holder with the throw up and the tap to McCutcheon. Hart controls, heads right side, far wing, all the way to the hook, scoops it up and in. Paul Hart, half court, took the tap and controlled it, 2 nothing. Here's Plainfield, fourth court as Satterfield starts right. McCutcheon opens in a man-to-man, -man, just underway. Right wing Osmond, as Preston Smith gives him some room. Head of the key, Satterfield starts left, on to a wing, Grace. Backs out with Kerber in front of him. Head of the key, Satterfield. He'll come right to Osmond. Holding on, cross-court wing pass, Grace in the corner, but Kerber's right there. Cross now to Osmond, near wing, cross-court pass. They set up Western, jump out of the corner, good. Well, Western with a field goal, hit it over Hale, and it's 2-2 as we've gone 40 seconds. Backcourt pressure here from the Quakers. Here's Kerber on the lead ahead, Preston Smith. Preston looking for a guard now. Fourth court Kerber, now Paul Hart back head of the key. McCutcheon will set their offense as Plainfield back in the 2-3 zone. In the lane, Hale has it batted away, controls the lane, turn around, eight-foot back up and in. Rod Hale has his first two and 4-2. McCutcheon leads, we've gone a minute. Fourth court Satterfield, right side on Hart, pulls it up baseline, right wing Western. Here's jumper good. Ralph said his first two, we're even at four, 6.50 mark. As German inbounds, runs along the end line. Kerber double team, lead ahead Smith, cross now to Hart, they get it over the timeline. Paul Hart on the dribble left side, up and onto a wing, spins it back out, head of the key. Hart, the senior, coming back left side, 22 for Hart last night, on a wing, it's Kerber, cross now to Smith, pull up 15-footer, rimming, no good, off two hops, but the rebound controlled McCutcheon, Kerber, as he's falling, able to get it out of the Hart. Hart down the lane, threw it away. Trying to get it to Hale, but Rod had digged when he should have zagged, and the ball belongs to the Quakers. Well, he thought Rod was coming across underneath the basket, and Rod stopped to turn for rebound position. Satterfield gets some instructions from his coach as he heads up the floor. As Hart going to meet him up at quarter court. On the dribble, starts left side. Far wing, Western. Preston Smith in front of him. A little tighter now. Back to Satterfield. Grace out of the key walk. Grace head and shoulders fake and then move left but took a step and at the 6.06 mark, 4-4 four, our four score, McCutcheon the ball back. He put the ball on the floor and moved his pivot foot before he dropped the dribble and that's an automatic travel. So the Mavericks have led twice, have never trailed here in the first two minutes, the early going. Rex dropping along the kick bossing for K105 FM, WASK FM Lafayette. Hart forecourt, right wing, Preston Smith. Down into the corner, got to gun it up from there and missed it 0 for 2 for Preston early. And Western clears the board. Outlets left side up the floor, Satterfield. Past the head of the key, right corner, Osmond, no shot. Adam holding on, cutter through the lane, Grace through his hands. And the second straight clean field turnover. Kerber ahead to Hart and Paul up the left side. Walks it over the 10 second line now, head of the key. Approaching that 2-3 zone, stops in the lane, left side, Hale, 10 feet away from the basket, holds it over his head, reverses to Hart, his free throw line jumper is good. Paul Hart drops it through his second field goal, and it's 6-4 Mavericks. 5-20 mark, first period. On the dribble, Gray's fourth court, Osmond on a wing right side, holds against George German, right corner, Western, he'll gun it up, and off the bank, hit it. Ralph Western pressured that time, but he's three for three from the field and has all six for the Quakers. We're tied at six, three minutes gone. Backcourt in the dribble, right hand, it's Hart. Ball past the 10 second line now. Works head of the key, angles it right side, goes to Smith, low right side, German baseline, one dribble, reverses it, but he's stepped on the end line. George put his heel down on the end line, a good call by Dale Kramer, who was right on top of it. Well, he got too deep underneath the basket, and that's a little problem that he's had periodically through the year, but he'll get into the flow in a minute. 450 and counting, first period, we're tied at six. Plainfield has never led. Satterfield, Grace, Osmond, wing left side. Adam holds on a wing, now spins it head of the key. Number 15 is Satterfield, down the lane to Osmond, wing left side, back outside Satterfield, backs to the 10 second line, goes left side Osmond, works free for a line, left, spins it around, right side Satterfield, pull up from 15 on the way and good. Mark Satterfield gets Plainfield their first lead, 8-6, and they've scored four straight. Throw away, backcourt McCutcheon, Osmond up with a loose ball to Grace, who's leading 10 footer, good, and he's fouled, it'll count. And Todd Grace to the line for the Quakers, will attempt the three-point play. It was made by number 41, Adam Osmond, and it was a poorly thrown pass. The ball was stolen, set up the basket here, and, and Plainfield trying to exploit that. Grace goes to the free throw line, and he has a chance for a one try, and he drops it through. So Grace at 82% completes the three-point play, and that's now seven straight for the Quakers. They lead at 11-6, halfway through this first quarter. 
on the attack near side Hart comes to Kerber on a wing left side dribbles down into the corner looking back to the point away from the double team Hart far wing Smith Preston holds now to Hart head of the key going to try and run a play now lobs it left side away from the trap goes to Kerber to German out of the corner his jumper good big basket there for McCutcheon they're back to within three 345 left first quarter ahead to Grace from Satterfield now Mark Satterfield gets it back on the point to Grace to Osman wing left side Adam off to the free throw line left extended comes right side Grace bumped by Kerber down into the corner brings it out of there deflected loose by Hart almost to save but he was on the sideline Plainfield will inbound up at half court the Quakers up 11-8 inbounds comes right side 23 Van Wanzel first time he's touched the ball now to Satterfield he'll start left side still on the dribble heads right around a Van Wanzel pick now low to Western Frey made his man missed the layup partially blocked I think by Hart from behind the Plainfield fans clamor for a foul as Hart starts up the left side slowly McCutcheon sets and plays their half court game Hart right wing Smith Preston head of the key Hart will push it up from 18 the jumper way short an air ball and it went off Western so it's going to belong to McCutcheon and, and so McCutcheon to inbound along the end line it's Plainfield on top Inbound head of the key, Hart. Ball looking back right side now. Low to Hale. Rod reverses to Smith. Preston in the corner. Won't take the shot. Whistles blow away from the ball. And a foul going to be called on Adam Hill. Kramer will let us know officially. But it is Osmond. His first. And that's team foul number one. And Kyle to toss in. Used five seconds. Far wing Smith. Preston will hold on now. Head of the key. It's Paul Hart. Hart starts left side with it. Reverses. Goes right away from Satterfield. He'll hold on a wing. They're bringing that zone out now. Hart, left side, Kerber, far corner. German up from 18. The jumper, good. Jordan hit two in a row from this left corner. 11-10 of the Mavericks within a point. Quick lead ahead. Osman in the lane, thrown away. Hale able to save the German. Still loose on the floor, out of bounds. Off three Mavericks. Good. But he was out of bounds, and he cannot come back in and touch the ball. He just had to let it roll. Grace to inbound, right corner, Osmond, right side, Satterfield to Grace, deep corner, 20-footer, rimming off, and the rebound, Osmond in the lane, head fake back up, and good, and wipe it out, traveling call, Adam Osmond. Not going to count. There's illegal picks that Plainfield are setting up on this pick and roll. Two minutes, 20 seconds, left first quarter, 11-10, Plainfield on top, fourth court ahead of the key. Goes to Smith, low left, Hale lead in good, Rod Hale, good ball movement, give the assist to Smith, 12-11 McCutcheon, and the Mavericks now have scored six unanswered, two minutes left, first quarter, far corner Van Wanzel reverses right wing, Grace now ahead of the key, 15 Satterfield, far side Van Wanzel, German gives him some room, stops on the wing, Osmond the corner, Friel tries from 15, the jumper good. Adam Osmond with a field goal, plain field back on top of the seesaw, 13-12, Backcourt pressure from the Quakers on the zone. They trap. Lead ahead goes to German. Across to Smith. Preston pull up eight footer ribbing off. Osmond the rebound for the Quakers. And they have a chance to improve on their one point lead with a minute 30 to go in the half. Van Wanzel wild shot in the lane. And Smith coming out of there with it for McCutcheon. So 13 12 plane field. A minute 20 to go in first quarter. And not a good shot for Van Wanzel that time on transition. Far corner is Smith. Head of the key, Kerber, and now Hart, Paul, wing left side, moves on Satterfield, lead-in double pump shot, long off the glass, tapped out to Kerber, muscles it up in the lane, and offensive foul, Kyle Kerber. But imagine how this basketball can yeah. follow the center in basketball like he can in football. A minute gone, or a minute to go, rather, first quarter. Right side, Satterfield in the lane, deflected for Van Wanzel. He controls it out to Grace, head of the key jumper, 18-footer, remaining good. Got to rattle through off three hops. Grace was already at the other end when that one fell. 15-12 playing field. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Kerber up the right side. Looks to Rick Peckinpah. One play number three. Probably to hold for the last shot. Smith on a wing. Looking back head of the key to Hart. Controls left side. German. He'll get it up from 18 and hit it. George German. Not going to play for the last shot. 15-14. The touch is within one. I would imagine the Quakers will here. 20 seconds to go in the period. Satterfield getting them set. And let's see if McCutcheon backs into his zone. Looks like they'll play the 2-3 here. Or at least that's what they show. Satterfield far away. Goes to Western. He'll jump it up out of the corner. Missed it. The long rebound goes to German. George holding on with five seconds. Got to hurry. Outlet pass deflected out of bounds by Western. Off. Now they might be able to. They've got nobody in the forecourt right now. Everybody in the backcourt for the Mavericks. 
In it comes to Kerber. He's just going to hold on. He'll fire the length of the floor, and it's short, but not by much. It's the 15, McCutcheon, 14. If you're one of thousands of Greater Lafayette residents participating in sports like jogging, aerobics, football, basketball, squash, it's going to be Plainfield. Couldn't tell over there. All the Plainfield fans on their feet, and we couldn't tell which team was inbounding, but it comes into the Plainfield. It is Osmond, wing right side, holding on near side to Satterfield, head of the key, Grace, who was free for a moment, now heads baseline, cut off the Western, deep corner jumper, good. 18-footer, Ralph Western coming out hot, fourth field goal for him at 17-14, Quakers. Backcourt, Kerber, Kyle on the lead ahead, coming left side, Hale, Rod looks forecourt, trying to beat the double team, almost knocked away, and it is out of bounds off McCutcheon. It's going to belong to Plainfield. That time, Hale double team reversed it when he had to have somebody open further up court, and it was knocked away from Kerber. Kyle the last to touch it, though. 17-14 as McCutcheon trails in the ball game. Just underway second quarter. Right side number 11. That's Grace. Near side Satterfield. And now Satterfield heads baseline. Trying to reverse it out to Grace. And German knocked it away. And Williams, who's just checked in, has the foul from here at 170 pounds. Got George German from behind at three. As we're a minute gone here first. Make that second quarter. Rex Robin along with Dick Bonsing. On the dribble, four court hard. Ball head of the key. Kyle Kerber starts left side with it. Head of the key, German, bad pass. He controls it and throws it away. He turned and fired for Hale, but two defenders in front of Rod. No chance to complete that one. Grace up the left side. Loda Williams muscles it up on German. Missed it short. Tapped outside. Hart controls for the Mavericks. And so we've been stuck on his 17-14 now for a couple of trips up and down the floor. 6.40 left to go in the half. As four court, Paul Hart. Ball headed to a wing, stop, far corner goes to Smith. Preston brings it out of there to Hart, in the lane to Hale. Rod turns and fires, but he travels. Rod turns, and I don't know whether he wasn't quite, or he ever really looked to the basket. I think they want him to power that ball up to the basket. Let's get the big guys in trouble if you can, and he didn't do it. 17-14, Plainfield the lead in the ball. 6.20 left to go in the half as whistles blow away from the ball. And a moving pick, Adam Osmond. That's what you were talking about, Dick. He did that. That uh, pick that keeps moving. I call it the Indiana pick because that's what uh, he's probably been doing it all season. Well, if he's getting by with it, it's a great part of your offense. Hart, four court. Got called once last evening, I believe, and so far once now tonight. Two minutes to go. First half as German again trouble with a handle in the corner and a foul going to be called on Osmond, his third. And it was in the sectional last week, too. There were times... When he just has not been able to control Eaton, and that hurts it. Smith on the inbound, left side, Kerber. Kyle going to bring it back out to the point, Paul Hart now. Paul starts right side to German on a wing. Action down to our left to Hart, head of the key, 18-footer, rimming out. And the long rebound goes to Hale. Rod's fouled. It's going to be on 25, Ralph Western. Bumped him and pushed him backward. Yes, I would agree with the call, and we're into the one and one for the first. kill on the season. 5.59 left to go, second quarter. Hale's free try, good. He'll have another. 17.15 scoring. And now McCutcheon on the board here in the second period. Hale, one more try. Has it up and no good this time. The long rebound goes to Lindsey Mayo, who's checked in for Plainfield. Grace up the right side, so Plainfield lead two as we're under six minutes to go in the half. May off a wing, guns it up and missed it. Long rebound, though, goes to Plainfield. Western controls it into the corner on the dribble. Cross court sets up Grace's 15-footer, good. Todd Grace, the fielder for the Quakers, and their lead forward, 19-15. 5.35 left in the half. Backcourt pressure for Hart. And Paul going to lead ahead to German, right to Smith. Preston pulls it up, 12-footer, good. Preston has his first field goal in three tries, and it's 19-17, Plainfield. Grace quickly the other way, 5.20 left to go in the half. Far side, 31, Mayo to Grace on a wing. Head of the key, Satterfield. He'll bring it out of there, now to Grace to Mayo on a wing to the head of the key, backs it in, out to the point. Williams now at the point. Right side, great. He'll work it out to Satterfield. Left side and a wing, Mayo. Lindsay looking back to the point to the free throw line. Spins, goes to Grace, pull up 15-footer. Far side, rimming off, no good. Long rebound goes to Hale, who had the good position on Mayo. And to Kerber, he'll run it up. McCutcheon a chance to tie at the 448 mark. Second period. Here's Hart, head of the key. Ball covered left side, Kerber. And now to Hart at the point. Splits two defenders, the lean-in rim shot good. Dropped it through, Paul Hart's third field goal. We're tied at 19. 435 left in the half. Grace, left side, Western. Ralph 
spins to the point, stops and fires. 15-footer good. Ralph Western's fifth field goal. 21-19 now, Plainfield. Kerber backcourt pressure. The lead ahead to Hart. All in the dribble now. The lead forecourt Preston Smith. And Smith will reverse out to Hart. Left wing Kerber. Left corner German, his favorite spot. Rims off, no good this time. And the rebound to Mayo of Plainfield. Outlet Grace hustles it up the right side. Grace to a wing. Back to the point, number 15 is Satterfield. Far side Mayo. Satterfield stops, looks low. Now head of the key, Grace instead. Starts right, heads baseline, stops, jump pass. Goes right side Mayo. Spins it back outside, number 15. That's Satterfield. He goes left side to Western. Give and go. Satterfield low to Western. And he walked but was bumped before that. A foul controlling that ball. And maybe it was because Paul Hart made contact. So Grace to trigger in left side under his basket. First foul on Hart. McCutcheon has three as a team. And it goes far side. And the jumper up, Lindsey Mayo, is good. Drops it through to make it 23-19 with three minutes and 30 seconds to go second quarter. Four court right hard is bumped by Mayo. And boy, there was some bumping both ways. The personal against Lindsey Mayo, his first of two points last night. Team down four, Hart's free try good. He'll have another, makes it 23-20. Plainfield, of course, Won the match between these two last year in the championship ball game here. Next try, rims off. And the rebound in the lane goes to Preston Smith. He muscles it up and in off the glass. 23-22, almost tied up. Lead quickly the other way. As onto a wing, Western Ralph into the corner. Hawk by Smith. Crosses now to Grace. Running one-hander up and blocked by Hale. Rod controls ahead to Smith. McCutcheon can go on top as we're down on three minutes left to go here in this Second period, Kerber right side, Smith now in the corner. Preston holds on to Hart on a wing, jump past Smith, Preston pull up 15 footer, good. The touch it on top, 24, 23, three field goals for Preston Smith, and Plainfield wants time out. 2.53 left to go, first half. It's for Cutchin 24, Plainfield 23. Being the facts, fact. Stockwell Lumber stands for service, fact. Stockwell Lumber stands for... Remember Kincaid. 250 and counting here back to action as Plainfield trails by a point. McCutcheon on top, 24-23. Here come the Quakers. Left side Van Wanzel low to Western. Bump by Smith. Preston reached over the shoulder first. The team's fourth and with 243 to go. Plainfield will still have problems here if they foul again. We're into the one and one. Grace to trigger in. Far corner goes to Satterfield. Brings it out of there with Kerber in front of him. Now far side, 25. Western to Grace in the corner to Western at the point. And again, running the attack, Satterfield will go far corner, 31 Mayo, brings it off to Grace to Satterfield, his 18-footer good. Mark Satterfield from the head of the key, 25-24 Plainfield, 2.20 left first half. Far side Hart, Paul, Kyle Kerber now, and the jump pass, lead ahead goes to Hale. His cross-wing pass goes to Hart in the lane, lead an eight-footer, rimming no good. Rebound Lindsey Mayo of Plainfield. Outlets right side, 15 Satterfield, chance to go up three. Right corner Gray stops on a wing, use the dribble, spins it out of there to Satterfield. He'll go right to left between the rings, far wing Mayo. Lindsay looking back, head of the key, Van Wanzel. German gives him some room. Now 15 Satterfield at the point, left side Grace. Far corner, that's Mayo. Lindsay with Hale in front of him. Back to the point, intended for Satterfield. Had to go back to retrieve, almost over and back. And now Satterfield, left side of Mayo. Minute 30 to go in the half. 25-24, Plainfield. Far corner, Grace, no shot. Kerber there, Satterfield, head of the key. Runs it inside, trying to bounce it low. Batted away by German. George has the foul. He went after the first half. And that's the 15 foul. So Tim Van Wanzel. Tim, the right-hander, puts it in the air and got it. He'll have another. The Lafayette, Anderson, and Gary Regionals. The Gary Regional will be running a little later due to the time difference up there. They're starting an hour later than we are. Next free try, good for Van Wanzel. It's 27-24, a minute 20 to go in the half. Hart beats the trap ahead to Kerber. Left side, Hale. Back to the point. Kerber and Hale again, far corner, Preston Smith. Looking low, German got free, trying to reverse it, and it's kicked out of bounds. George got free, but he was Preston right side under his basket. Looks into Hart, far corner. 
Ball, two dribbles to a wing. Low to Hale, inside good. Rod Hale, give the assist to Hart. Good feed with a minute to go in the half. Plainfield's lead one. Four-court Satterfield heads left side to a wing with Hart in front of him. Backs it in, stops, head of the key, goes to Grace. He starts right side, and Kerber ran through. A Lindsey Mayo pick. Hill goes to the line. We'll have an opportunity for Lin Lindsey at 33% coming into the tournament. His free try good. 51 seconds to go second quarter. Rex Troutman for Dick Bossing here on K105 FM, WASK FM, Lafayette. The free try good by Mayo, 29-26 Plainfield. As the Mavericks in the final minute of the half. See if they'd hold for a last shot, I would doubt it. Hard ahead to Kerber. Forecourt now, the pass to Hale on a wing left side. Reverses out to Kerber, Kyle heads right. Comes left to German, low left to Hale. Lean in, muscle shot up and in. Rod Hale muscled it through. Mayo goes down. Lindsay up and okay. Just got caught up in the pack there. 29-28. Plainfield's lead a point. And they're going to hold for the last shot to try to here. 20 seconds left in the half. McCutcheon coming out now. They'll play the man-to-man. -man and they packed it in. Now outside, Hart goes for the steal. The foul on Satterfield. Good call there. As Hart... Gant come in and get it back, made contact, and I thought at first the call was going to go the other way, but then he did call it correctly because Hart did have the position first. Hart goes to the line, his ball's free try, rimming out, no good, and Van Wans on the rebound for Plainfield, so the Mavericks have struggled at the line, eight seconds to go in the half. Satterfield, right side, Grace, 20-footer up and no good. Long rebound goes to Hale, he fires the length of the floor, Kerber's there, but the buzzer sounds. So we've read field Quakers 29 and the Mavericks of McCutcheon 28. There are those special times in your life when you need things done just perfectly. Mark Fine is a name you can truly trust. Out there with Grace Satterfield, along with Osmond Van Wenzel and Western up front. Paul Hart has the inbound and McCutcheon on the attack left to right this half. As Hart on the dribble for court. Ball head of the key, Hale spins left side, Smith, Preston jump out of the corner, good. Preston Smith drops it through, 30-29, McCutcheon leads, here's Satterfield on the run the other way. Low to Van Wanzel, jump hook up and in. So quickly, Plainfield races down the floor, Van Wanzel puts Plainfield back on top, 31-30. 7.30 left to go, just underway, second half. As Kerber backcourt Hart, Paul runs it right side, away from a double team, it's knocked out of bounds. And they say Satterfield, the last playing field. And to inbound, Kyle Kerber gives to Hart. Ball starts right side, far wing German. George holds it over his head, looking back to the point in Hart. Left side, Kerber looking left. Comes back right, Hart down the lane, knocked away. But a foul going to be on number 11, Todd Grace. Grace reached in, tried to knock it away. In this ballgame, these kids are playing very good basketball. Hart goes to the line. Paul's one of three tonight, making one of four as he misses the first. He'll have enough because he's just trying a little bit too hard and rotation's not good. I'm going to call this up and good. And two of those misses, front ends of bonuses. Ties it at 31. We've gone a minute here in the second half of the dribble forecourt Satterfield. Left side, Western. Ralph on the dribble right inside, knocked away. Control the Kerber. Crosses left, Paul Hart. Hart up the left side, past the head of the key. Starts right side on the dribble. Hart pounds it with the right hand. Right wing, Kerber. Kyle looking low, head of the key. Hart in the lane free. German beat his man, muscles it up. No, played for the foul and didn't get anything. He muscled it up, but played for the foul. Looking over his shoulder as he shot and missed it. 6.40 left to go as Plainfield goes the other way, third quarter. Far wing, Osmond. Give and go to Satterfield. He holds on a wing. Head of the key. Gray starts left side. Stops and fires from 14. Way off. Long rebound. German just barely ticked the right side of that rim. He saves for Kerber. And Kyle going to walk it up. On the dribble left side. Looking ahead to Hart. Bounce pass for Cork now. Right wing. Stops head of the key. Now starts right. Gives way to Kerber on a wing right. Back head of the key. Hart. All looking right. Kerber. Looks low. Nobody there. Heads baseline. Stops. Reverses to Smith, far corner. German guns it up from 18 and hit it. He was almost behind the backboard when he shot that shot out of the corner. An 18-footer, his fourth field goal, 33-31 Mavericks. 5.58 left third quarter. Osmond wing left side. Forecourt now Van Wanzel. Left side, Satterfield off his hand and out of bounds. Went off Satterfield. He tried to control with the dribble hand and go right into the dribble. 
That didn't work. Yeah, it's really surprising. German down there with the lay-in, and he doesn't get the ball up on the board. He's looking for the foul, and then he goes out to 18 and drills it. Hart on the walk. We were talking about last night. They missed something having him outside, but I don't know now. Hart, right side, Kerber, head of the key. Hart, still start left. Paul spins it back right, stops, gives way right side, Kerber. Kyle looks low, back head of the key. Hartle got it up from 18, way short. Long read on Kerber, back up, no good, but he's fouled. And the first one going to be on Tim Van Wanzer. Had one from point blank range on the follow. Chose not shooting two here. Right-hander quarterback of the football team. Just a junior, has the first one up and in. He'll have another. A lot of us. So maybe you don't hear him real well, but they're over there. Kerber, one more opportunity. Kyle taking a look, has it in the air, and good. 35-31, McCutcheon, their biggest lead of the ball game. Lead ahead, Satterfield. Osman on a wing, heads baseline, outside Grace, down the lane, brings it outside, Satterfield. Backs it to a wing, there's Osman now, free throw on extended left. Hale gives him a lot of room, head of the key, Van Wanzel, spins it off Satterfield, back left side, Grace. Far wing, Osman, Adam holds on. Looks back to the point now in the dribble. Head of the key, spin, stops, head of the key, Satterfield. Five minutes to go, third quarter. McCutcheon's lead, 35-31. Satterfield trying to run him off a pick. Far side gives it up to Grace, almost loses it out of bounds. Back head of the key, Satterfield. The Quakers will start over. Comes back left side, Osmond. Saves for Satterfield. You can see him running that offense. Hart bumped in low, some muscling going on. Western turnaround in the lane, wild off the glass. Knocked away by Osmond and laid in by Western. German went down. He got nailed that time by Adam Osmond. The officials didn't see that one. 35-33, 4.30 left to go third quarter. Backcourt, 24 Kerber, 22 Hart. Now Kerber on the walk. Mavericks got to hurry to get it over. They do to German on the pass. Left side, Preston Smith. Back to the point, Kyle Kerber. Plainfield going to back it off now into a man-to-man -man situation as Satterfield bumping outside against Hart. Lindsey Mayo comes back for Plainfield. The official didn't catch it. Yeah, Osmond really nailed German at the other end last time. And Plainfield ended up getting the rebound in the bucket. Here's Hart now, head of the key. Top of the key goes to Hale. Right side, Kerber. Kyle heads baseline, brings it outside. 22, Hart shovels it off German. Deep corner, far side, in and out. But a foul call inside, gonna be against McCutcheon on one of the Mavericks in low. Throwing up the room. Here's Satterfield on the run up now. Plainfield a chance to tie. 3.50 left to go, third quarter. Satterfield left side, as setting the pick was Lindsey Mayo. And one of the Mavericks, it's 22 hard, and he's got his defensive player on Mayo did not power screen. Yeah, has to shout that out. We saw that in the Purdue game. Uh, as, uh, Northeastern almost got a guy killed the other way as Jeff Arnold set a pick. Outside Satterfield, cross far side, Gray, Satterfield, left side, Western, to Satterfield, who got it up from 20, way outside, in and out, long rebound, Mayo, jump hook back up, nope, rebound, German, knocked away by Western, and out of bounds, off lane field, and three, in favor of the Mavs. Kerber, backcourt, Hart, all in the lead ahead, Kyle Kerber, runs it past the timeline, stops on a wing, lead into the corner, Preston Smith. He could really help him if he gets out, a very streaky shooter, Hart, Smith on a wing, Preston holding on out there. Now back to the point. Five minutes gone, third quarter. The Maverick lead two. Right side, Kerber. Not much scoring this period so far. Kerber ahead of the key to Hart. Running one-hander in the lane. Up and rimming good. Paul Hart took a chance on a charge that time as he split the two defenders. Maybe his favorite shot. Fourth field goal, 37-33. Under three minutes left to go third quarter. Grace left side for the Quakers. The Satterfield head of the key, back to Grace. He'll got it up from 20, hit it this time. He rolls it in, and Plainfield keeps pace. Fourth field goal for Satterfield. They're within two, 2.38 to go third quarter. Of the lead ahead, Kerber goes to Smith. Looking back outside, Kyle Kerber. Now Hart, and Paul gonna hold on. Tough to recognize the Plainfield defense. They disguise that zone and play man-to-man -man once in a while. Right side, Kerber, think they're in the zone now. Outside, Hart guns it up, free throw line, good. Paul Hart's in two in a row, 39-35 Mavericks. 2.15 left, third period. On the dribble, Satterfield. Starts right, comes back left, Grace. Far corner, Lindsey Mayo. Lindsey back to Grace now. Mayo in the corner to Grace. He'll got it up from 20, missed it. Long rebound goes to Preston Smith. He's holding on, flipping to Hart. Might look for Rick Beckett to take Hart out of the ball game. 
if they can get by this possession, just to give them a breather, and also taking no chances on a fourth foul. The Hale in the lane, and he's fouled. Basket drops, but I don't think it's going to be allowed. Waves off the basket. Rick Beckenball wanted the continuation. Had it been NBA, and Paul Hart going to stay out there. A minute 47 to go, third quarter with those three fouls. He takes it on the inbound. Foul, by the way, was on 25 Western. His second goes to Hart. Ball starts right side, stops on a wing, goes back left side, Preston Smith. It's the fourth team foul, by the way, in the Quakers. The Mavericks have two. Hart out near the timeline, a minute 30 left to go. Second quarter, Hart moves right, head of the key, Hale. Right corner, Kerber guns it up from 15, way long off the rim. Long rebound goes to Preston Smith, up and in. Oh, I got the long rebound, muscled it in. 41-35, Mavericks have their biggest lead. A minute 15 to go, third quarter. Six point advantage. Left corner, Western, Ralph from 18. Off the rim, Long, Hart the rebound. Mavericks, a minute five to go third quarter, up six. Hart gonna walk it up the floor. The McCutcheon fans, you can probably hear them way over on the far side. Hart, four court with 55. On the dribble right, stops, gives way to Kerber. Kyle heads inside, gives it up to German, his 12-foot pull up, good! 43-35, McCutcheon up eight. Fifth field goal for German, 40 seconds to go, third quarter. To Western, forecourt, Ralph, back to the point in Satterfield. To go right to Grace, far corner. Williams to Grace from 18, up and no good. Long rebound, goes to Satterfield. Hart was right there, he gives it off to Williams. Hart almost in a position to pick up a foul. Outside Grace from 15, good. Big basket there and a big rebound the last trip after Grace had missed the first try. 43-37, 18 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Hart on the lead ahead, Preston Smith. Mavericks want the last shot of the quarter. Preston spin dribble, far side. Gives way to Hart with eight seconds. Starts down the lane, scoops it up, banks it good. Took a chance on an offensive foul, got the lay in, 45-37, two seconds, one. Satterfield from half court, no good at the buzzer. And oh, McCutcheon there in the third quarter after three. The Mavericks lead, Plainfield, 45-37. At halftime of the Lafayette Regional Championship game, we are locked up at 25 each between the Central Catholic Knights and the Benton Central Bison. CC has not led in this ball game. In fact, BC... Rex Trauman along with Dick Bossing, 45-37 as we go to the final quarter here at Frankfurt as the McCutcheon Mavericks on top. Clean field on the attack. It's left side, Grays to the point in Satterfield. He'll gun it up from 18, rims it off, no good. And the rebound goes to Kyle Kerber. Kyle on the dribble, walks it up the floor. Kerber starting left side with it. On the dribble, starts right. Under a wing, George German. Head of the key, number 42 is Smith. Right side hard up from 18, the jumper way short. Paul after the rebound, and able to control, loose on the floor, a scramble, and they call a jump ball. Paul Hart took a real chance diving in the back off all the way, but I like him being aggressive like that. 45-37, McCutcheon on top here in the final quarter. On the inbound goes to Hart, his pass in the lane. Hale up at no good, but a foul. Against number 15, Satter Rod Hale is Rod got the ball at point blank range. Well, he had no choice but to foul him because Rod was in position just from the basket. Rod Hale at the line will have an opportunity here for two shots. 76% up and good on the first try. Hale, one more. Rod, two of three on the night. Four field goals has 10 points at his first point of the second half. One more try for the senior at about 6-5. Bins the ball, has it in the air, and missed it. So the Mavericks free throw problems continue. Their lead, though, is nine. 7-18 to go in the ball game. Grace, left corner, Williams to Grace on the wing. Bouncing it low, left side, 25. Reverse layup, Western won't go, but a foul call inside. Going to go against McCutcheon. And Osmond coming back. The first rule going to be on Jordan and Williams setting down. The McCutcheon fans really into it on the far side. The Plainfield fans down in front of us on their feet. The free try short. Weston will have another try. He'll have another. And Ralph, big first half. Been a little quiet here so far in the second half of play. Free try good. 46-38. The McCutcheon lead eight. The ball knocked away. And now German has it retrieved. Gives way to Hart. Pressured backcourt by Grace. On the run, up to the head of the key. Spins right side, stops, four-court double team. Beat Smith by himself. Block from behind. Boy, what a block that was by Van Wazel. Smith had the easy layup. He was playing for a foul. Grace in the lane, muscles it up, no good. Tap loose, Van Wazel has it back up and in. Tim Van Wazel muscle it up, 46-40. And the Plainfield fans on their feet, they're within six. 6.40 to 
640 and counting. Fourth quarter as McCutcheon is throw away. Mavericks was signaling for a timeout. The official would call a timeout as he was doing that. George German passed him the ball. Rick Peckinpah furious. Or Kincaid Chevrolet at 200 South Meridian in Lebanon. Or Kincaid Frankfurt Chrysler Dodge on State Road 28 West in Frankfurt. Kincaid is the name for the best in automobile service and selection. Remember Kincaid. Well, Plainfield makes a run, 46-40. They've got the ball back into the touching turnover. Osmond, far corner, 6.28 to go, still a lot of time. Left corner, Van Wanzo guns it up from 15, missed it, long rebound on the hail. Uh, big defensive effort there for McCutcheon as Kerber up the floor right side. The Maverick leads still six. Kyle Kerber spins it near side, has it knocked away by Satterfield. Breakaway one-on-one on Smith, laying good, he's fouled. Boy, the Mavericks have come unglued. Satterfield just deflected her way to Osmond, got the lead ahead. Smith Satterfield, an opportunity for the first time tonight at the line, is free try good. 46-43, McCutcheon's lead three. 6.08 to go in the ball game. Hart backcourt, the Mavericks. A big trip down the floor. They really need a basket. Hart forecourt. He has it knocked free. Lewis Osmond's got it. Travel call against whom? It's against play. Away with that. Inbound, it comes to Hart. Ball in the dribble right. Near side, Smith. Preston holds in the corner. Back outside, Kyle Kerber. Mavericks got to get their composure back. Left side, German. Knocked away. Lewis Westerns after him and has the foul. Ralph picked back up, but uh, Western made contact as German had the better body position, really, a percent shooter, but this would be the first attempt at the line tonight. Maverick's been having their troubles at the line this evening. It's free try up, and it's in and out, back in. The first point in a while. One more opportunity. 5.46 left, German's free try good. 48-43, so the Mavericks lead five. Lead ahead, Satterfield, almost too far ahead. He almost couldn't track it down. Now ahead to Osmond. The Satterfield, head of the key, starts left side. McCutcheon in the man-to-man. It's Osmond in the corner. And the key, Satterfield, spins on Kerber in the lane. Stops, got to get out of there. And now left side, Osmond. He didn't. Three-second violation. Satterfield got caught. And Plainfield trailing the McCutcheon. The Mavericks lead it 48-43. minutes, 31 seconds left, 48-43, McCutcheon, as the Mavericks to inbound, a moving pick, George German, as Ralph Western, just like a turnover, as Plainfield will have it out of bounds, a big turnaround there. Well, I don't agree with the call, because he just stepped in and fell down, he was not pushed, but the officials called it, one in the bonus, way short, and standing flat-footed Preston Smith holds on. So Plainfield lets that opportunity fall by the wayside. Here's Kerber on the attack. Kyle, right side, Hart. Ball plays with the three fouls. And now German with four. The lob low thrown away. Hale was not there. And the lob grabbed by Van Wanzel. Four-court Satterfield. McCutcheon's come unglued a bit here in this final quarter. Van Wanzel left side to Grace to Satterfield. Grace on a wing. Guns from 20. No good. Long rebound. Kerber, they can get better shots than that. And I think Larry Bullington's going to tell him that. Well, McCutcheon is tired. Look, when they're rebounding, they're rebounding flat-footed right now. Here's Hart, forecourt. I think both teams get a little weary now. Two games, two nights, and this has been a tough one here in a warm gym. Right side, Kerber, low right, Hale, baseline, turnaround, eight-footer, way short. And the shot's coming up a little short. That's always a telltale side. Plain field, the rebound. Western ahead to Satterfield on the walk. Right side, Grace. On a wing, stops Osmond. McCutcheon's now made a substitution the entire game. Right side, Grace. Osmond in the corner. Crossing now to Satterfield. Almost intercepted. Lean in bank. Wild off the glass. Lose the rebound. Goes to Hart. And the foul going to be called on Adam Osmond. And they call the foul against the McCutcheon player. It is Hart. His fourth. That's it wrapped up, and they called it on Hart. I have no, no way to see that. And had it been at the other end of the floor, I would have said the same thing. That's just a... Uh, Amazing call there. Osmond at the free throw line hits it. 48-44. One more opportunity. 4-22 left. McCutcheon's lead 48-44. Free try up and no good. The long rebound goes to the Mavericks. Hale holding on, swinging those elbows. Ahead to Hart. All on the walk for court. Right side now past the timeline. Heads right at his bumped and fouled. Grace with the con. Gotten around Grace. And Grace bumped him as he... Went by hard at the free throw line. Is shot good. So, gas to make it to the end here. 
Free try up and in. 50-44, the Maverick leads six. Here comes Plainfield on the attack now, halfway through this final quarter. Satterfield coming left side. Goes into the corner to Grace, gets it back. Satterfield at the point now. Grace on a wing. Satterfield head of the key to Grace. Wing left side, hits baseline, stops leading over Hale, banked up short. Rebound outside to Western. Ralph back up and banked short. Rebound in the lane goes to Van Wanzel, back up, no good. Long rebound deflected loose. Osmond's got it. Power play in the plain field in. Satterfield on a wing. Osmond in the corner, head fake, no shot. Behind the back pass off to Satterfield, they'll regroup. Left side, Grace on a wing, low to Van Wanzel, leading back up and in. Five tries for Plainfield. They get the fifth one to drop. 50. Here's German to inbound. Gives way to Kyle Kerber. Kyle on the dribble, four court now. Away from the double team. Looking for Hart now. Nobody to give it to, and a foul call. Ralph Western has his fourth. To find somebody to give it to. And Kyle will go to the line. Kerber this evening not figured prominently off. He steps to the line with an opportunity here for one and one, 70 percent on the year. Two for two tonight. Three try up and two for three. Missed it. The rebound of Plainfield. They can come it in two. 318 left. Four court Gray. Satterfield starts left side. Osmond in the corner. The Satterfield back out at the point. On the dribble left. Goes to Osmond in the corner. Cross wing pass Grace. He stops. Looks low. Back outside 15 Satterfield. It's a three minute mark now. The Cutchins lead four. Satterfield left side Van Wanzel. Free throw line left Osmond. Baseline cut off. Reverses out Satterfield. Far wing pass Grace. Almost a travel on Satterfield. He'll come back left side Osmond. Looking for a good shot. To Satterfield. Starts right in the lane. The Western baseline maneuver on German and he walks. Well, they called it. There were two other walks in this sequence down here with the ball that weren't called, so they finally did call that one. Used a lot of time. 2.42 left. McCutcheon's lead four. Kerber to inbound. The Mavericks have had trouble against the pressure, and they're just plum tuckered out now. Kerber comes into German, saves to Kyle Kerber. He'll walk it up with Satterfield in front of him. Bump, now the trap on. Kyle used the dribble, got away from it. Right corner hard. He'll set and fire from 18. Missed the shot. Long rebound, Satterfield. Not a good shot. Rick Peckinpah beside himself. Lead ahead, Grace running one-hander over Germany. Missed it. And the rebound, Hale in the lane, rising above the crew. And Paul oh, Hart going to call a timeout now. But for rest more than anything, fourth quarter, it's McCutcheon. And Lafayette early fourth quarter. CC's taking the lead over Benton Central, 41-40. Here, 217 to go in the ballgame. 50-46, McCutcheon the lead in the ball. Fourth court, Kerber crossing out of Hart. Far corner, Preston Smith, no shot. Preston looking back outside. Down the dribble, draws the double team. Got to get away from it to Hart. In the lane to Hale, reverses to Kerber, gets the lay in. Nice ball movement, 52-46. Kerber's first basket of the game. Under two minutes left. The Maverick leads six. Four court, Osmond in the corner. Kerber gives him some room. Outside Satterfield, does a 20-footer. He misses, driven the rebound. George holding on, gives way to Kyle Kerber. A minute 40 left, 52-46. McCutcheon, Hart, four court. Maverick shouldn't have to take a shot now. Hart, right side German. George holds on, heads baseline, stops, reverses to Hart. A minute 28 to go. Far corner, Kerber. Outside, Preston Smith. Across to Paul Hart. A minute 22. Far corner. That's Kyle Kerber. Kyle has it knocked away. Satterfield with a foul. Kerber in the... And Kyle goes to the line. He missed one moments ago. He's two of three this evening off the bench. In fact, we haven't seen him a whole lot. Kerber's free try. Good. 50 down on the floor live. We'll talk with Rick Peckinpah and hopefully some of the McCutcheon players as well. Here's Kerber's free try up and in. 54-46. A minute 17 left. McCutcheon's lead eight. Four court Satterfield. Wing right side. The Grace on a wing. Head fake lead in. Ten footer up and in. 54-48, a minute six to go. German runs along the end line. Hart was held, and they spotted it at the last one. And picks up the foul, his third, with 63 seconds to go. He won in the bonus. The Mavericks looking for the regional title. 63 seconds away, they're up six. Free try good by Hart, make it seven. Lafayette Semi State at Mackey Arena next Saturday. Free try good. 56-48, McCutcheon by eight. A minute left in the ballgame. Here's Satterfield on the run down the lane. Stripped by Hart. 
Paul's got a breakaway by himself. He'll lay it in up the glass. The touching by 10. 58, 48, 50. Three seconds to go. Back into the ball game. The Maverick players not yet celebrating. Still about a minute to go. Fourth court left. Grace jumped out of the corner and missed it, but a foul call against McCutcheon team footers. So well, that's the last thing you wanted, and Rick is really telling him over there that he doesn't want that to happen. Something. And Grace at the free throw line. Rick Beckenbaugh staring daggers down there right now. The free try up and no good. I think they allowed that substitution before, and I think that's what he was mad about. 58-48 on the missed free throw with touch in forecourt. Trying to run it out now. German in the corner, heads baseline. Heads inside and is whacked by Van Wanzel. Van Wanzel came in. Hard fouls that are happening right now. You don't need that in the ball game, Rex. German at the line. First of a pair. George up and good. McCutcheon by a wide field goes 2-2 two two from the free throw line. Now 12. He looks for 13 and has it. Biggest lead of the night, 60-48 Mavericks, 35 seconds to go. Grace at the other end, guns from 18 air ball. German, the rebound to Kerber. Long lead up the floor. Hale right through his hands and out of bounds. So anticlimactic there. And let's see, is there a foul call? Adam Osmond, I believe, way down and cover towards the plain field bench with the palms up raised. Apparently for the pass to arrive, and Rick Peckinpah try to signal a timeout. Ball game, 60-48, McCutcheon, back in 60. Seafood, seafood, and more seafood. Morris Bryant is the place. 14, that's 538-2814, and ask for Max or Kenny. Kokomo Grain, a licensed and bonded warehouse. Rod hails the line for McCutcheon. One of the bonus is free try good. 61-48, and four... And Plainfield will bow out at 20 and 6. And the free try, no good. Rebounded by Western, 61-48. Only 25 seconds to go. Western guns it up from 18, way short. Long rebound deflected. Preston Smith controls as Grace goes tumbling down. Kerber ahead to Hart. But McCutcheon wants another timeout. 15 seconds to go. They're getting it set. We'll take a break. It's McCutcheon 61. And the Plainfield Quakers 48. St. Elizabeth Hospital Medical Center has been building new tomorrows for Greater Lafayette for 110 years. That building includes the new Sports Medicine Center, focusing on sports injuries and their prevention. The huge resources and research available at St. Elizabeth have been pooled to create a center designed to provide educational, therapeutic, and preventive approaches to sports injuries to the area's thousands of sports enthusiasts. It's all part of St. Elizabeth building better tomorrows for you. St. Elizabeth, our business is live. All the Sports Medicine Center, 42. 369.27. Fresh air, blue skies, and sunny days. Spring is not as far away as you might think, and Burnham's is ready. Burnham's in the Levy Plaza is stocked and ready for fishing season, and there's more arriving every day. They have special tackle needs for fly fishing, bass fishing, and salmon tackle. Plus, Burnham's now has 1987 hunting and fishing licenses. Rent a videotape with new titles to choose from. Think Spring from Burnham's in the Big Red Building, Levy Plaza, West Lafayette. Well, McCutcheon giving everybody a chance to play. I see Miller's in the ball game. They've got uh, Clint Adams out there. Also, number 12, Matt Chase. As triggering in, Mark Whitlock. The long bomb to Adams. He can't catch up with it. And so, Plainfield will have the ball there as well. So, those are the first substitutions of the game. Came at the 15-second mark. As Plainfield to inbound, they've got some of their new people in there as well. 35, Terry Schauble fires up a shot. It won't go. Rebound lost out of bounds by the Mavericks. The inbound 33, Lautenschlager. It's deflected out of bounds with 11 seconds. Far corner now. Looking back outside. Gives it into Schauble. Far away, one dribble to Lautenschlager. He guns from 18, missed it. The long rebound deflected loose. So scramble and a foul going to be against Plainfield. The 5'9 senior will have an opportunity game, number 34, Rob Templeman, and also number 10, Larry Douglas, and so Whitlock and Chase only in there briefly, but everybody can say they played the regional title ball game. Adams at the free throw line, as Quinn Adams, 57% on the year, is free try up and no good, the long rebound goes to Plainfield, they fire from half court at the buzzer, it's no good, and the McCutcheon Mavericks scream out on the floor, their fans follow them. The Mavericks with the 1987 Frankfurt Regional Champs as they're victorious 